Hey everybody and welcome back to our fifth training. Uh, if you guys are wondering, Alicia will not be joining us tonight because their team won tonight but then she had a conference meeting and a bunch of other stuff to go to. So I will add her I guess, perspective on how she has used our program to spend her time wisely and all of these concepts so that you can see how it's been recently used with an actual team. And also share some of my experiences from my team the past few years. So we're gonna cover four ways tonight to use your time wisely. We've already gone over a lot of ways to help get more organized and deliberate with our time, but here are four extra tactics. So the first one is developing a common language. So if you develop this framework of ideas like we talked about with we do the seven C's and the framework of relate, learn, grow, adapt. If you set that up in, in the beginning and give yourself that structure, A, you won't have to think about it again. You can just plug things in as you go, which is awesome for saving time. You don't have to think about it either. And then when everybody's on the same page with the language, you don't have to re-explain yourself or wonder if what you're saying is getting through to the girls. Sometimes you still have to wonder, but <laughs> at least if you have this common framework of language, then you can all be on the same page as far as speaking about it. So there are different ways to do this, but I think one of the main objectives I had with starting this program and bringing Alicia on to really like help me narrow in this focus was being able to create something that everyone understands. So we know the phrases that stick and the things that we remember. So the seven C's are what we decided to stick with. So if you go through this and you want to just adopt our language, that's what our program is for. So let's move on to the second one. The second one is uh, have the girls basically become mini coaches. So if you're teaching this language and they know what you're gonna say, when you're gonna say it, then they can help out when you're focusing more on small groups and being able to give a, a smaller group of girls more attention. So instead of worrying like, okay, I'm working with five girls right now, what are the other 15 <laughs> max doing? You don't have to worry about that anymore because you know that they can take this stuff on their own. So some ideas for building that type of understanding of each other and that that way to describe things to each other without you being around is what we use with our activities and challenges. So basically team building. With each of the courses, we have a bunch of worksheets that they go through that they can apply all the things that we just talked about and taught them so they can relate to it and learn what their own experience is. So let me show you an example here. Let's see if I can bring this guy up. Oh, got to actually click on the window. A memento. All right, bye. <laughs> so, this window here, let me get it so you guys can see. Can you see that? This is what happens when I rarely use Firefox. All right, so this is our welcome screen for our program. So when your girls come in here, they can access all the courses. But let's start with, let's go into the competitive mini course. So if you guys want, like what you're seeing here, you wanna try it out, this is the mini course. So we start with competitive, and you can go through and see how we lay everything out. So first they're going to relate and if you see, every section has these uh, PDFs that they can print. So when they click on that, up comes an activity like this. So they're learning how to be competitive, what their expectations are for themselves, how they deal with failure, and then some examples of how they're getting in their own way. You can use these directly as team building by having the girls fill them out individually and then come back with the whole team and discuss them. So. All of this is helping them get to know each other so that when they go into practice and they're working on hitting stations by themselves or if they are out on defense waiting for their turn to get reps, they can be working on side drills, focused on the mental game, working on these types of things so they can work on expectations. They can 
work on dealing with failure and being more competitive as far as that mastery mindset. So it's a nice way to kind of merge the two. So you get team building and practice and extra time to focus in on the narrow things with each girl. So moving on from that, I want to also show you guys more, more like a classic team building activity in each learn section where we're talking about the mental strength and how to become more competitive. There at the very end of it, is always a challenge. Where did my challenge go? At the very end. All right. Oh, no, that's because it's another activity. But see how they can put themselves on the competitive graph. And similar to the athlete types activities, they can relate to each other like, oh, you're in the passionate zone too. Or like, oh no, like you have days where you're over it. Or maybe oh yeah, I'm definitely the perfectionist athlete and you're a chill athlete, so maybe let's work together and pair them up that way so that when they are experiencing these different reactions to dealing with failure combined with their desire to succeed, they can help each other grow even more. So that's just another example of using these activities as um, team building activities. So think, oh, this is what I was looking for. Grow is a section where we talk about specific mental skills that can help with that mental strength. So for competitive, it's all about mastery mindset. So talking about the growth mindset versus the fixed and then staying on the path to mastery. And it's really in a nutshell about focusing on the process. So they'll learn everything about this here, shifting their mindset, staying on the path to mastery, and then they get to their challenge. So every challenge has instructions and a follow-up already made for you. So you don't have to worry. I felt when I was coming up with this idea that the follow through of team building was the most difficult part, even for someone like me who was, it actually took a course in team building. So we built that into it to make sure that you're asking the right questions afterward and the girls are getting the most out of it. So here's an example, simple little games. I love the games Minute to Win It, so they're all similar to that. So this one's called Spoon Launch, and they're trying to launch the spoon into a mug in as few seconds as possible. So it looks like this. Bam, they launch that spoon. It can, make sure it's on a specific floor. Tile gets really loud. Carpet doesn't work. So maybe some sort of wood floor for this one, or a laminate top. Um, countertop works best. But they have all the instructions here, as well as tips for how to use those mental skills. If you do this type of thing in practice, they can have this as a station, doing the spoon launch, challenging each other, timing themselves, where they will have something to do or you don't have to supervise, but they're also getting a ton out of it and they love these types of things, let's be honest. So they could just follow up with the questions on their own. The next piece, is how to actually implement drills that combine both mental and physical skills. So the concept is simple, where I want you to first think of what skills you need to work on. So if you really need work on hitting outside pitches, that's what you start with. Okay, now how can I make that a mental drill? Then you go back to, okay, what was our topic for the week? Our topic was confidence. All right, how do I build confidence hitting outside pitches. If you go through that process, you can really figure out, all right, this is the challenge I need to implement, or this is the consequence I need to add, or maybe it's another time limit, maybe it's a point system, some sort of added pressure that can really get them to focus in and be challenged and build both their physical and mental skills at the same time. So if that sounds like a lot to you, don't worry, it did take me some time too, but we've got you covered in this program. So at the end of every ADAPT section, there is a drill for, they're for all different skills. So in this um, section, there's a pitching and hitting drill. So let's look at the, I believe I have the pitching drill. Yep. So this pitching drill is called perfection. So your objective is to complete 10 perfect reps in a row. It tells you everything you'll need. There's instructions for how to go through it and also here how to level up and make it more difficult once they're getting the hang of it. We always want to level up. Whenever they start to get good at it, make it harder. And then, of course, there's always a, like a mini disclaimer. Stop when you're tired. It's okay. You can get back to it. 
And then at the end, the same as the challenge, there's tips on how to specifically use these mental skills to complete the test. So this one was competitive, so the tips are to trust that you'll improve if you keep putting in effort, embrace the struggle and push through adversity, learn from your mistakes and give yourself feedback, and count every win and focus on the present. So all these tips are based on each drill. And then the chart is their way, sorry, it's loading, to keep track of it. So ha have them have a partner each time and actually keep track of these things. So this one was win, learn, or both. After each rep, they're writing down these examples. And then they're tracking, uh, this is for pitchers. These are writing in their pitches up here and the codes so that someone writing can just write down C for change up, uh, U for curve. I don't know why I just decided those letters, but there we go. And then when they're writing them down and tracking them, at the end they can see this big grid filled out and see how many yeses they had, how many times they hit their spots. And if they have a big streak of X's, they can reflect and say, okay, what did I learn in that section? Was I just not focusing in or was I worried about the outcome instead of focusing on the process? Also getting them to focus on their wins. Look at those big chunks of the circles of the ones you did well. And then the best column is both. Something you did really well and you want to make sure you take it with you in the future. Maybe you learned something new about yourself that worked. Writing things down is super helpful. Because a lot of times we'll do these great things in practice and drills and then we go on to the next thing in our lives and our brain lets go of it. So the next time we come up to it, we've forgotten already. So I think this is really important for building the mental skills and really helping them sink in. So I wanted to show you the overall one more time. If this looks good to you, this is our program. So our options are to either purchase the program simply for yourself. You'll get access to all these courses. All the courses are available here. Or you can, for less than a few lessons, for each girl, give them access to it. So I personally, of course, a little biased, I think that's totally worth it because then they have access, they could do it on their own before they come to practice and really be prepared for you guys to do the team building work. You have so little time, I think it's really important to focus on team and you don't have the time to spend a whole hour really digging deep like these courses do but you really need to do that work in order to get the messages to sink in. I think we've all gone through, like Committed has all these four as well, Relate, Learn, Grow, Adapt. I think we all try really hard to cover all of this content, but it's just very difficult when you have so little time to cover it in the 10 minutes before practice. So that's what I wanted to create for you guys. And with Alicia's help, we've made it really efficient and really drill down so that you can go right in, learn what the mental strength is, learn the skills, and immediately see some impact on the game. I think Alicia, I'll add in her point of view uh, to the back end on this post, but it's been awesome to see these things translate with her team as well. Like we've mentioned before, she's been doing something similar to this for a while. I've been doing it with my girls and it it's just cool to see the validation of them taking it with them and really learning and improving these skills, which they eventually take with them. And I can speak from personal experience that mental skills changed my life. I went from the head case player who honestly wasn't having as much fun as I could have. Of course, I loved the game, but there was just this gap that was missing. And once I found the mental piece and I it started to make sense and I started latching onto it. Everything became clear, it became more fun, and I actually performed a lot better. So it was great, I preach it to everyone and I use it in my personal life as well. I notice it every day. I mean, even as I'm writing these things and putting together the program, I'm like, oh, I could probably use some of those mental skills right now. Or, oh, I did learn that, I'm better at that now. So it's really cool to see the progress in your own life. And you'll see it as a coach too. I want you to go through these so that you can reflect on your own C's. Are you confident? Are you composed? Are you committed? And which of these you're really strong at, which you need to work on, and you'll notice it tends to reflect in your teams. 
So we want, want to always make sure we're on top of our game as well. But that is all I have. It was really quick, sadly, without Alicia's input here. But if you guys have any questions, post them here or shoot us an email. Um, you can email me directly, mel at mentalsweetspot.com. Um, I've linked to the um, webpage and the post that has all the trainings on it. So you'll have everything in there and I'll add this video afterward so you can go back. And if you want these videos and all the freebies sent directly to your inbox, make sure you sign up for the newsletter. You can do that just by opting in to one of the freebies on the post or join the email list on that little sidebar. So thank you for joining me and I hope you guys found this really helpful. Alicia, thank you for joining me and I will see you guys all soon. Have a good one.